Hi everybody, this is Barbara from the Tunisian Crochet World Podcast. I'm doing a Tunisian shell lace stitch tutorial for you. And this has to be a multiples of four stitches plus one. I'm using a 6.5. If you're using worsted weight, if you're using Pound of Love, you need to at least have a six millimeter. This project allows you to have mistakes. As long as your count is off by one or two, you will be able to pick those up very easily and get your count back on straight. The main feature is these shells need to stay lined up. The rest of the count is not necessarily important. So just remember that. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain 32 for this sample. You're going to do a regular forward pass and pick up all the stitches. That's exactly where I'm at now. Now on the return, your return is a very special return. So what you're going to do is instead of just yarning over and pull through one, we're going to make three chains in this one stitch. So I'm going to do one, two, Three. Now what we're going to do is now we're going to yarn over and pull through a total of five loops. This counts as one loop. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three, four, five loops. Now, we have to seal the shell with a chain. That does not count in any of our counts at all. The only time you're going to use that stitch is when we go to pick up again and do our four pass. We're going to make sure that we pick up in that loop right there. So that's the only time. So now we're going to repeat that. We're going to chain three. One. Two. Three. We're going to go through five loops, counting this one as one. One, two, three, four, and five. There's our shell. We're going to seal it with a chain. And there you go. And we're going to do that clear to the end. The other, we're going to do that to the end, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do you pick up your stitches and what counts you need to make sure you pick up your stitches with. Now for your return pass, we're going to go in and in these chain threes, we're going to just pick up three. Even though there might be more chains because you got the one chain here and the one chain here. We don't want to pick up this one because it will increase. So we want to pick up three stitches. You can pick which chains you want to pick up because you want to keep your counts close to 32. And then you're going to pick up this always. Every shell should have a pickup. Now see we have two threes, so we're going to go into that. One, two, three. Pick up that. And like I said, this is a forgiving one, so if you make a mistake in your count, you're fine. As long as you keep your shells lined up and you don't have any increasing going on up here, the piece stays about the same. Because you're going to end up having to either put a edge, single, cro single crochet edge around it if you're going to add it for a shirt or a blouse or a skirt or anything like that um, because you're going to want to be able to do that to have something to sew through if you're going to match or stitch it together but if it's for a shawl don't need to worry about it your edges will be fine it'll be wavy and beautiful 
and have lots of drape. Snagging a little bit there. By the top of my shell. And here's usually when I do my count so I can see if I need to go into that last stitch or not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31. And now I'm going to go into the last one for 32. So my count was pretty good. And this is the fabric it gives you. And look what it's going to do when it blocks. It's going to be beautiful. That's how simple and easy it is. Just repeat the return pass. That special return pass. That's all you have to remember in your counts. Thank you for crocheting. Keep on hooking. Bye for now.